everyone, I'm Winnie. Welcome to Shining 3D Dental Salon. We Shining 3D are providing full digital dental solution. Our users are getting our devices and solutions to make their dental workflow more efficient and comfortable and to get better treatment results. Today, we will show how digital technology can help the aesthetics restoration. Let's begin with the digital workflow of aesthetics restoration. We start from face scan and intraoral scan. By face scanning, we can capture the patient's soft tissues and the 3D data of whole face. By intraoral scanning, we can get the detailed information of patient's teeth, including its morphology, occlusion, and full arc. Then we can combine these two data in design software for DSD and get the result of mock-up, which can be duplicated into patient's mouth. The mock-up can help simulate the final restorations so that patients can confirm whether this is what they want. If not, dentist will adjust the treatment plan. The communication process is easier and the patients will be more satisfied. After the dentist and the patient reach a consensus about the treatment plan, the dentist will prepare the teeth and do the scanning. Then designing will be done in a CAD software and the final restoration will be made through printing or milling. What do you want to know if you take a deep look on this digital aesthetics? Well, you may wonder what devices are needed, what techniques it requires, and how to begin. I will share this information in details. Before we start the digital aesthetics work, there are two questions we should be clear. First, what data we need? Second, what kind of treatment plan that we want to have? Planning is the first step when we carry out the aesthetics restoration. The first data you need is intraoral data, which can be acquired by intraoral scanner. Before you scan, pay attention to below points. The requirements of accuracy and details on tooth preparation is high. If your scanner is error scan 3, we recommend you to activate the refinement function during scanning, which will help you to get accurate data with fine details. What's more, if the margin line of the teeth is not exposed, you can use gingival rejection code to expose it before scanning. If crown lengthening surgery is on your schedule, then scan the oral data as complete as possible you can to include the full gingival data. This data can be used for further designing of guide for the surgery. If you want to achieve symmetry of the restoration, you need to obtain the full arc data even if there's only one tooth to be restored. The face data is also needed for DSD, and the data can be obtained by a face scanner. If the hair is black, you are advised to wear a non-black hat before scanning to obtain the vivid and the colorful 3D data. Besides, as the face scan data will be used to match intraoral data, the patient should be smiling and make upper anterior teeth exposed so that we can get a complete mouth data. Now let's talk about CBCD data. First, you are advised to export the CBCD data with a DCM format, which is compatible with ExaCAD. Second, when we match the CBCD data with intraoral data, you need to choose the high resolution format when you export. Third, if you want to print the maxillofacial bones, you may need other data processing software. Now we have got all the data needed. Let's show you two kinds of outputs about DSD. The left one shows the digital mockup model. We make duplicate of mockup guide based on aesthetic diagnostic VASCAP. Then we make a temporary teeth by injection modeling. Finally, we finish the whole mock-up process inside the patient's mouth. The right side is using the tooth library to create a smile design for which aesthetic temporary veneer is created from. Then we use a printer to print the temporary teeth and try on inside the patient's mouth. In the photo, it shows six veneers combined by connectors. If you think the connector does not fit the aesthetic requirements, you can remove the connectors and design the teeth one by one. Making six independent veneers would be fine. Note that there are indications for this type of treatment. If the patient does not agree to have his or her teeth prepared beforehand, or the teeth are convex, then don't choose this method. Having another veneer above the convex teeth is not a good choice. 
In this slide, we will compare the difference of reference information between traditional and digital aesthetics. When we do traditional aesthetics, technicians only have stone models. Sometimes the dentist may also take photos of the patients. To match the two-dimension photo with the three-dimensional design is quite difficult. Whether the restoration can be made well or not is highly depending on the experiences of the technician. When we do digital aesthetics, technicians have more information to refer to. First, there are colorful insurer data and face photos for reference. Second, face data can be combined with intraoral data and photos, which means technicians can really see the patients moving their head in the software. Third, for full occlusal reconstruction cases, CBCD data can be a guideline. For some patients, we may consider the movement of this mandible. In this case, we can use electronic face bone to record movement. All this information do great help for the technicians to make a comprehensive design. Before ending, we will share the advantages of digital aesthetics. You can see almost all the reference information are in three dimension, including intraoral scan data, face data, and the mandible movement. These data are easy to record in the storm, and is trackable and duplicatable. The mock-up result can be replicated to the final restoration 100%. Besides, as we mentioned before, the outputs of a DSD and the reference information are diverse and comprehensive. Moreover, we can refer to tooth library when we do the designing. According to the patient's age and gender, we can choose the teeth that most fits this patient. That's all for today's sharing. If you have a different take on our words, we'd love to hear your perspective in comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.